Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sunhaven. One of my favorite games that I am playing right now. Can't wait to dive back in, see what we have going on. I know we can advance the quest to read. There's an elven book or something we need to read, but I also want to work on our farm a bit. I want to look into some more of the items we can craft. Oh, it's raining. Nice. Oh, we have a lot of cleanup to do as well because we had our little rock monster. That's right. I crafted. It's been a few days since I last played, so I kind of have to refresh my memory because I do record this in batches. Um, but now we've got some more workshop pathing. I need to figure out, though, if I really... I don't think I want my workshop next to my house. I think we're going to find another area of the farm for that. Um, do we have some animal food on us? Oh yeah, see, we have these blue rose seeds. I want to make a beehive and plant the blue roses around it, I think, near our house. That would look pretty. That should be a good plan, right? Let's get out some pet food. Whoops. No. <laughs> uh, one... Two. There we go. I knew I'd figure it out. Just a little rusty. Just a little bit. We need to get some barns going and stuff. I don't want you to escape. Or things are out here in the rain. I wonder if that does affect their happiness or not. Or if the barn just is what allows us to um, uh Words. Words are hard this morning. It is just a little after 5 a.m. I always use that as my excuse. Um, <laughs> that's my thought. I think the barn increases the number of animals we can have, as well as uh, things like being able to put in the auto feeder or whatever stuff we're able to buy. Okay. Finally got my brain to wake up and work there. All right. What else? Let's see. That's hot sauce. Let's actually put, like, our tokens. That's right, I want to get enough spring tokens uh, for the pet. But I, I think that's going to... I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not. We can try. Still got our BLT. Dang it, that still sounds really good. Put our weed away for now. All right. So, yeah, I think we're just going to maybe skip a few quests today. We need to go talk to Elvin, huh? Oh, that's right, because he'll be able to help it or talk to Edwin to get Elvin advice. We'll, we'll do that eventually. We need to travel to the northern forests. We also need to go to the eastern wilderness for the Chimchunks, but I kind of just want to work on figuring out my farm layout a bit today. Okay, at least we don't have to water anything, right? Oh, gosh, do we have seeds? We do have some seeds. I have to remember, okay, they're that because they are seasonal now. But fortunately, these are any season. Okay. We could always go buy some more. My little farm is so small, I'd love to increase it. And we will. Yeah, we'll go buy some more seeds. I want to do these though in like rows of five, not six. I don't know why I started doing six. Today would be a good day to go buy seeds, too. Uh, since it is raining. Yeah, how much of an area do you cover? Gotta refresh myself with that. Okay. Yeah. So really, he can do rows of four, because it seems to go four in each direction. At least width-wise, I wasn't looking at... Okay, so if I put you there, 
these two rows aren't covered and this one last one isn't. So that's something to keep in mind. Forget how to until it. I thought it was possible to until it. Hmm. Ah, right clicking. I'm doing this just so I have a visual. Or we just make. Oh, that's right, I just need more wheat to make another one. I am really thinking too hard about this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, I need 10 wheat. I only have five. Okay. I'm going to start saving some of my produce so that I grow for cooking. I'm, I have a feeling in the wrong, long run, I'm going to mostly be uh, selling my crops, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I wish... Mm, I don't know. I don't know why my, my brain is hurting trying to figure out where to put my scarecrow. We just, we just will get more wheat, make more scarecrows. Why did that go there? Don't know, it's fine. Yeah, let's just... We're just gonna take a risk. So I, th I think I like five, five wide. We'll, we'll do that. Let's put some more here. Do we have money? Yes. Oh gosh, we've got almost 9,000. I should go into the specialty store. What day are we on? 21st. So we have like seven days left in the season. I think I should check the calendar to make sure we're a 28 day season. As you might know, Sunhaven's Lantern Festival would be, will be held on the 28th of this month. Due to some miscalculations, we are unfortunately short on fabric. Without enough fabric, some citizens will be unable to make their lantern wish this year. So you can see the gravity of the situation. Being the town's farmer, I'd hoped you could help remedy the problem. Please come visit me today in the town hall if you can help. So you're going to need fabric. I wonder how much fabric. I'd like to just take them some if we have it ready to go. We have six. We have a loom. It would take silk. So we'll see see if he needs more than what we have. Let's go buy some seeds. I'm sorry this was a slow start, you guys. It took me a few minutes just to kind of figure out in my head. <laughs> oh, I just noticed Peter's hanging out there. I should probably talk to him. Hopefully he's still there when we get home. Oh gosh, what is it you would like, Catherine? Hey, Moxie, since you're the only farmer in town, I thought you could help me out. Uh, what do I need to do? The thing is, I have a new kind of fertilizer. Oh, yeah, we've done this quest before. Uh, she has a fertilizer that I'd like to test. Will you try it out for me? I'll give you the seeds to try it with in any... At, blah. <laughs> I'll give you the seeds to try it with in everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, if this game didn't just, like, autosave, I would totally just exit delete my video and start over so I'm so sorry it's just it'll get better okay I'll get right on it so she gave me cinnaberry seeds times five and fire fertilizer nice and again I hit the wrong thing I do want to see what we have in this store because we could start spending a little bit on the specialty seeds we don't have a whole lot of days left though so maybe we have stuff that'll work for spring and summer Chocoberry. Oh, spring and summer. Some people like chewing on these chocolatey seeds, though they're very bitter. Worth much more when grown and used in recipes. Six days. Let's see. I want to see if there's anything that's just spring only. Nine days. We don't have time. Clover is any season. Wonder what that's used for. Lettuce is spring, seven days. I think we have time. Let's just buy like 
two. Just to be safe, three. <laughs> Sid and Berry, we just got for the quest. Spring and summer, Kiwi Berry. We don't have time. Yeah, I waited too late in the season. 12 days on those. All right, so let's get some maybe for spring and summer. Although I should go get more wheat. Yeah, I know it's boring, you guys. We're going to wait till the start of summer to get some of the specialty seeds. I want to get more wheat for um, crafting. Although I bet summer we need a different scarecrow for summer, don't we? Yikes. Uh, let's just buy all of these. We're just going to buy what's on sale. Why am I so fuzzy headed today? I slept. I mean, granted, yes, I have been up since 315, but I got like over six hours of sleep. Who was that in there? I, what? <laughs> I saw someone. Who, who are you? Walt. It's a heck of a trip to get here from my farm outside of Sunhaven, but it's worth it. This store has some great deal seed deals. If you're a farmer, you ought to take advantage of them. Have we met Walt and I have forgotten Walt? Oh, look, a little umbrella stand. I can't wait to expand our house. I like the rug. And start buying some. I like this rug. But we just, we can't right now. Well, how much is it to repair this? 40 wood planks, 4,000 gold. Oh, you, stop hitting that. Not right now. I'm so, I don't know why I keep hitting exit. And what kind of wallpaper? Nice blue wallpaper. Withergate apartment wallpaper. Kind of want, I'm going to wait till we upgrade our house. Green stocking. Wooden spoon. I need to start looking at this stuff more often. But we need a barn. We need a house upgrade. We need lots of seeds. Oh yeah, town hall. Talk to Bernard. Almost forgot. I also want to see, can we use this like every so often? I did, I got four mana. The cool water is refreshing. So I wonder how often you do that. Like if it's weekly, every few days. I doubt it's every day. That would be a little OP. Okay, here we go. Hi, Bernard. Thank goodness you showed up. I was beginning to worry. As my letter stated, we are short on fabric for this year's Lantern Festival. The supply in the town hall's attic was partially devoured by silk moths, unfortunately. I worry the festival won't be quite as grand without a little outside assistance. We Oh, just two fabric. I'm on it. Thank goodness you're helping me out of a difficult position. I'm truly grateful. No problem. So deliver them. Uh, you can have them right now. This looks like everything we need for the Lantern Festival. Remarkable work, Moxie. Reliable as ever. Take the gold I was going to use to buy these materials. You might want to save it for the event, as there will be lots of event items to purchase. I wonder if this is actually in-game. No problem. Uh, let's go with the farming XP. Ooh, 500 gold. Thank you, Bernard. We do need to save some seed money for summer. Um, let's see, how much though? 5,000? Do we want to spend 5,000 for our barn right now? I kind of do. Increases your farm's total animal capacity by eight. And then, yeah, gives you access to the barn interior. That's where we can have set up as feeding station. And the automatic feed, the automatic feeder doesn't cost much at all. Uh, yeah. Let's splurge. Okay. I'm going nuts. I'm going crazy. I want to take care of all my babies. <laughs> Automatic collector. A new piece of engineering automatically collects your animal products. I mean, if we're going to spend all our money. Let's do it. And hopefully we can make enough to buy summer seeds. <laughs> We'll just sell all of our crops except for wheat. Um, we'll get it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're good. There's the spring store. 
<clears throat> we'll get this set up and then we can just start saving up for um, more animals. I should also start checking out the quest board. Okay. Seed maker. No, I'm, I'm fine with just having unlocked it. I don't need the extra seeds. Increases experience gained from eating jams, food delivery, free animal food. Now let's go the let's try delicious experience. I realized that one item we got that was for like farming XP, like gives you one extra point to spend. I sold it for a thousand gold because you know I'm broke. But realized it might be worth to save those in the future if we get more because I'm I'm sure we're limited on how many points we have to spend just from the regular progression of the game. So then things like that get, let you get that little extra point you might not normally get to spend. How you doing, Peter? What's up with you? Hoi again, Moxie. There's been an abundance of fish on the market these days. Would you have anything to do with that? Uh, yeah, thanks to your rod. Oh. <laughs> that sounded a little wrong. Since you've been fishing quite a bit, I wanted to give you a new tool that should really help a lot. Okay, yes, he's giving us a fishing net. This will catch fish for you even when you're not around. Thanks, Peter. You can cast nets like these into the waters on your farm, though before you can do that, you'll also need a net permit. Don't worry, I've actually brought you one. Here, take it. Why do I need a permit? Net fishing is so effective that it has to be regulated to make sure no one is overfishing. Once you activate that permit, all you have to do is place it right in the water and check back later. How do I get more nets? Yeah, we can also craft them, I think. But yeah, he'll, he'll sell us a permit upgrade so we can have more than we're currently allowed or buy the nets there. Just remember, you can only use nets on your farm. All right, I know it's too bad we can't use them down at the beach. So we can currently have four though, that's nice. Do I use it? Yeah, right, click to use, got it. Oh, so now we can have six. And here's the net. I'll just put it right here. Fishing net. Your fishing net will catch fish passively. Come back later. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah different sizes. I kind of remember that. I love that you can see that it's been fertilized with the little, like, red sparklies. Um... We've got a few seeds we can plant. Ooh, a spring token, nice. Alright, that's good for now. I know that's a weird shape. <laughs> but yeah, my fields are probably just only going to be five wide, I think. Uh, put that away, put that away. We'll put that back down here. No, we don't need that down here. Let's figure out where our barn's going to go. And how to put the things inside of it. Oh, we're going to have to clean the spot. I think over here will be good. What time is it? Alright. Just see how much cleanup we can get done before bedtime. Oh, I love playing this game. I'm so happy to be back playing it. I haven't played it since before the new year. So happy new year to anyone watching. And I want to thank you guys too. I've had quite a few uh, new subscribers to the channel from this series and a lot of really nice comments. I love seeing how much you guys like this game, too. Really happy to hear that there are other people who play it and enjoy it. I can always tell it's 8 p.m. By, by the change of the music. 
Yeah, do I want my barn over here? I think I do. I was thinking this could be a good spot for our workshop, though, as well. Hmm. Now I'm not as sure. Oh yeah, I didn't even look to see what our daily boost was. Oh, bonus movement speed. Would have been a good day to explore. We could maybe put our workshop just down below our house even. Down in this area. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's good. Are you sure you want the barn here? I think that's fine. Yeah, confirm. Let's go inside. Let's see how the... Oh, oh, it's so cute. That's adorable. Um, so where do these things go? Feet, it will automatically... So like, okay. So where would this... Okay, so if we put that there, I'm not exactly sure how these work. I need to go get food. Okay, we'll go get the food we have. Automatic collector we'll put here. Do we have time? What time is it? Yes. We'll try to get the animals, and we'll get our food. Hello! I love that we can just pick them up. Easy peasy. We don't have to go talk to anybody about... Well, I guess you don't have to in other games either. But, like, in Dinkum, you gotta blow, keep blowing that whistle or playing that guitar and hope they follow you. So, I like that... The ease of this. I see the time. Hopefully we don't pass out doing this. All right. You're in your new home. We've got some food for you. Oh, look, it fills the food there. So I didn't even need to buy the feeder. This is just a bonus one. Okay, good to know. But look, I gotta take a little screenshot. That's so adorable. All right, we're gonna go to bed before we pass out. And then we'll check the auto collector in the morning. So now I'm a little annoyed I wasted the extra money on the feeder, but that's all right. It's okay. We live and learn. Can't wait to upgrade our house too and start making it look all cute. We sleep straight through the night. Liar. <laughs> Just want to clear my UI. Making sure these don't have times on them. They don't. Good morning, little, um, pebbles. Aww, that's cute. Let's go check our farm first thing. Or barn. This is adorable. I want a little screenshot of this, too. <laughs> One of these will be the, the thumbnail. Good morning, are you happy? You look happy. Yep, so we can just grab things out of there or just let it pile up for a while. We don't have to collect it every day. It's cute. Do we ever have to worry about the water? Okay, just looking to see if there's anything else to interact with in here. So we could take the feed out if we wanted to. We'll leave it for now. 
I didn't know it would come with it. That's awesome. Let's hit some of these rocks. Oh yeah, the cumulus. Forgot I have that. Oh, did that do damage to the weed too? It just says enemies and rocks. Maybe that's a weed I had started to attack at one point. I like that the chicken and the cow can share the same barn. That's kind of nice. Gotta get some of these every time we play, otherwise it's just gonna drive me nuts. Oh, it's not raining today. Need to go water our crops. Then maybe we'll start placing down some floor tiles. Get rid of that fencing. Oh, mail. <laughs> Your second Sunhaven pen pal letter comes from Camilla. Hello, I've always enjoyed writing letters, but I've never had a lot of people to write them to. I was so excited when I heard we were going to set up a pen pal program. It's such a perfect idea to share letters and stories with one another. Ooh, I'm out of breath. I don't know if you know or not, but I host guests in an extra room. Get this, the other week I had demons staying with me. I wasn't sure if my normal old room was going to be comfortable for them, but they actually enjoyed their stay and were very polite. Strange to say, but I guess you have to be ready to give anyone a bed when you're in a business like mine. It's certainly fun to see new people, though. Sunhaven seems to have plenty of that. It's always made me wonder what it is about this town that attracts different kinds of people. Isn't that interesting? Oh my gosh. Finding time to sit down and write your thoughts is a privilege. I hope you'll agree. Okay, well, take care of yourself, Camilla. Thank you. Oh, well, we got two fishies in our net. Uh, bluegill. All right. This crop will finish in three. I love that when you try to harvest something that's not ripe, it tells you when it'll be ready. We got some sugar cane, nice tomatoes. Didn't get enough seeds the other day. I knew that though, but that's fine because we're going to be changing seasons. So I didn't want to go too crazy. Oh, yeah, we lost a carrot, or we lost a seed there. I know it's taking a chance. Oh, I meant to put you. Oh, that is where I wanted you. Never mind. <laughs> need to upgrade our watering can too soon. Everything. We need to upgrade everything. I want to see also what it takes to make some more fishing nets. I actually might just go grab all of my produce that I have grown that I said I was going to save for cooking. And ooh, I'm so sorry. I hit the microphone. Um, I am just a klutz today. Uh, sell it so we have some money for summer seeds and maybe in the summer months start to get a little more, uh, serious or season. Sorry, not months. Uh, get a little more serious about cooking then. I think that's my plan. Can I just remove this or do I have to hit it? I have to hit it. I didn't even need that. Our animals would have been fine without being confined. It's only one cow and one chicken. rice. Definitely need to keep the wheat. 
But yeah, we're 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 selling everything else. I'll keep like seasonings. So we get some of those from Monster Loot. Strawberries I should be holding on to for snack coons. Yeah, we're selling all of that. We need some money. Um, yep. Okay, maybe I'll hold on to the sugar cane too. I feel like like seasonings, wheat, <laughs> everything else we can grow. Okay, oh good. 20% damage to trees. So it's probably a good day to work on clearing out some trees. I hope you guys aren't cringing that I'm selling all of this. I just, I want to get some money going. Save our quest item right there. Those can go into store. I could even sell these. I think I'm going to hold on to them. These are for storage. We're going to lay some pathing down. Storage. All right. Hopefully we make a nice little profit from that. Yeah, I want to pick up, I want to start putting down some flooring. It's kind of fun to just have a day like this where we just sort of figure out our layout a bit, get everything we need going for that. Maybe this will be our cooking side. <clears throat> and then our other machines to start doing over here. Oh, there is a dandelion hiding. the loom over here as well. Why not? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, might do a cooking station somewhere else. I don't know. We're going to run out of space because I feel like we've got a lot of things to be crafting right now. Can we pick these up while they're full? I don't think so. No. Some games let you do that if you're not taking them into like a like a loading screen type area if you're just moving it in the same area which is kind of nice <clears throat> oh we have mon we have honey we're gonna eat that get a little mana boost I don't think I've eaten this yet. Let's see, we're at 56. Yep, 58. Does it show us anywhere, like a log of what we've... Food. Yeah, it does, because I was wondering if it would do that, because you only get it... <clears throat> I think like the first time, maybe first couple times you eat something. And then once you've done it, it it, it diminishes till you don't get an extra boost from it anymore. So that's good to know. Okay, cool. We're learning things. I feel like this is just like our learning and figuring things out episode.
This will probably change too. At some point, I'll have like a little inspiration and be like, no, I don't want my workbenches and stuff over here. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the tile. I was going to move the loom, but can we rotate things? I don't think so. No. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, summer scarecrow. Okay, it just takes wheat as well. So we need wheat for food. We need wheat. For scarecrows, protects crops within five tiles from being stolen by raccoon pirates. Yeah, right now we're trying to st st keep them from being stolen by baby dragons. I wish I could see the baby dragon. <clears throat> Which one? Is it this one that does the... I think we can do a bee house. No, this is our tile maker. Which one is this? Basic furniture. Okay, that's not the one I need. I forget that we can do this stuff. Why do I have two for basic furniture? Was I given one? I don't need two. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have two in the long run. I'm not going to sell it. Okay, here we go. Bee box. Okay, 40 planks and fire crystal. Let's get you moved. Don't have enough fire crystal, I don't think. Was it four? dangerous I know <clears throat> I'm actually thinking I might keep a cooking station do the smelting smithy type stuff where I've started the cooking station oh it's getting so late in the day let's chop some more trees down while we've got that little buff I do want to do a pretty little beehive area though too that could go anywhere I might even, I don't know, we could even move where we have our crops. I don't know. I feel like I don't ever explore or look at the rest of my farm, but I'm sure that'll change a bit. Get rid of these. <clears throat> and apologies, I know my voice is still a little gravelly this morning. But we got a barn, so that's something. I'm I'm proud that we got our barn. Or pleased. Pleased is a better word. Just getting some cleanup done. Some figure tating done. It's too bad we won't have enough tokens for getting the pet, but that's alright. We'll just wait till next spring. Hopefully the tokens don't change or disappear between now and then. I don't think. Yeah. Like that's one thing, like playing like World of Warcraft, you have seasonal items like a seasonal type currency, but it only lasts through that currency. 
So it's like, or through that season. So it's use it or lose it. Like if it's the fire festival thing and you don't get enough fire, whatever the fire tokens are for buying some of the items. Oh well. Let's try again next year and hope you do better. <laughs> it's like, I, could you just keep these till next fire festival, please, people? Yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, I think move the cooking station. We'll keep a cooking station next to our house. We'll move the blacksmithing stuff down to this area. I, yeah, that, that's going to work better for me, I think. Stop picking up the floor tiles. <laughs> I'm not sure where the loom will go yet. <clears throat> My goodness. Okay, swap some things. Oh, 1040 already. Hey, level 22 exploration. Hmm. Collecting a forageable or breaking a destructible object restores health and mana. I probably will go with that. Just max that out. Yeah, let's just max that. Oh, wait, we can go to this next one already. Increases movement speed while traveling over paths placed on your farm. That's kind of nice. Ethereal axe. Unlock the ethereal... Ether, ethereal. Excuse me. The ethereal axe. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Summons a giant magical axe that swings in a large arc in front of you. Dealing damage to enemies and trees. Cost mana. No cooldown. Uh, yeah? That sounds pretty cool. This is a bonus gold for every heart you have. I want the big old axe. Excuse me. We're going to try that before bedtime. I need to find a bunch of trees, though. Not my apple trees. <laughs> okay, Oh, uh, okay, here are a few trees. Let's see how this works. I don't know. Oh, that's fun. I don't have enough mana to use it more than once, though, and we're going to pass out soon. Yikes. <laughs> Let's get to bed. We'll finish putting stuff down. <laughs> so in the morning, we can go give those things another little whack. I almost now wish I had put my house somewhere else so I could have that whole workshop up there. But I like the house up on the little cliff. So anyway, you guys, I know this episode was maybe a little bit of just me rambling, <laughs> just rambling and figure figure tating things out. Um, but I just love having moments like that in game where we just sort of want to figure out our life, figure out the placement of everything on our farm. So we're going to do a little bit more of that on the next episode. But I think then we're also going to work on our combat. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode. Take care.